Hello, beautiful people. Welcome into my channel. This is going to be for my ladies and gentlemen who first name start with the letter N. Love you more, Tarot. Like the video. Like the video. Like the video. If you click the video, like the video. YouTube playing, y'all. <laughs> if your soul feel called to do so, subscribe to the platform. I don't force nobody to subscribe, but I hope you enjoy the content, don't. Oh, and definitely check out my community tab because you're going to find something in there for you. I guarantee, okay? If you are a returning family member, peace of prosperity, I mean it every time I say it and every time I say it, I mean it. I truly do. What we're going to do is use my sinking bowl. Let me grab it. Matter of fact, I didn't have it over here, y'all, for my last video. To clear the energy, this is going to be a general message, and we're going to check into the current energy and look into the fridge. We're going to use tarot for current. We're going to clarify what oracle for future. If I say it right, okay? So you can leave the volume up, or you can turn it down, or you can leave it up and get some of this good juju if you want to. I know it's loud on my end when I do it, so I know y'all gonna hear it loud when we play it back to you. So let's get started, y'all. Beautiful. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is, y'all. I always go this way, and I always go that way. So how you doing? All right, and move my bow, and let's get started. We're going to get right into this. It's going to be a general message. I'm going to be using this particular deck. It's like a holographic, like a colorful deck, okay? It's just a regular tarot deck. I have quite a few decks like this. I think all the cards have the design on it like this, but it's different fronts. And I would, I like it. I like it. I dig 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 it. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's cut. Empress at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. I want to take it. Ooh, but it's right next to the devil. Ooh. That could be someone who see your worth, who obsessed with you, who want to come in and give you a love offer. This person could have been hanging between two minds about this love offer, or either they're around somebody jealous who don't want to give you this offer, or someone they could be juggling, they trying to come towards you. Now, that's a side message. I don't know. I just... Was Got it to look up under the Empress. Let's go. Divine Universe, give me clear messages for my people. Who first name began with the letter N. We have, damn, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So that could be somebody toxic around. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright is someone who's nurturing, caring, someone who's abundant, a builder, someone who's about their finances. This could be a boss. This could be a wife. Okay, so, mm. Someone could be dealing with a queen of pentacles in reverse, or maybe right now things ain't really good around you. Your finances could be in reverse. I'm um, in reverse. <laughs> Your finances could be stagnant. Stag. <laughs> Let's pull it back. Someone here, your finances could be out of whack. Okay, you could be in a situation where nothing's growing, or you could be up at a place where it's not allowed you to grow. You could be in a situation where you're not able to grow. It's not allowing you to grow because it's not, maybe it's misaligned with you. Maybe it's not aligned with you, okay? Ooh, yeah. We got the Knight of Cups coming out in reverse, y'all. That could be um, a situation someone is in where it's not growing. The love has left, and it probably wasn't really love because the Knight of Cups can be a love bomber. Uh, this could be a feminine or a mask that someone here needs to get rid of. Someone may meet, they need to leave their wife or their husband behind, okay, because the relationship has ran its course. I'm getting the relationship has ran its course with something or someone, okay? Nothing's growing. It's stagnant, and it's, it's not going anywhere. Ace of Wands, because it's time for someone to start over. Someone here is being afforded a, a new opportunity, and maybe someone you're connected to, someone here could be connected to a Queen of Cups in reverse or a younger water sign. It could be a, a masculine that needs to go at your life because nothing's growing with this person, okay? Things are stagnant, okay? There could be a marriage that's needing to end, okay? In order to get something new that's coming in the ace of wands is a passion new beginning and it's a yes so if you have been questioning a relationship or should you leave something your answer is yes the queen of pentacles in reverse this is something that's not allowing you to grow to step into your highest potential it's in reverse so nothing's growing here that's why okay oh two cards came out the will of fortune this is faded 
The wheel is turning in your favor. So it's time to leave behind stagnant energy. That stagnant energy could be connected to, um, I know the first thing Tara sees in time is, um, well, at least I look at love. But let me look at this in a general aspect. You could be in a job situation where you're not getting treated properly. The night of cup, they could be still, they could be bombed, you know, like gaslighting you, telling you're going to get a raise or things are going to change. Or, you know, they could be requiring you to work more hours but keep promising you something. But the queen of pentacles, you're not prospering at this job. You know what I'm saying? The money you're getting paid is not enough to cover your bills. There is something happening that's faded. It's a change. It could be an opportunity being put in your face. Or, you know, it is time for you to move on from something or somewhere. Someone, something, okay? We boot <laughs> look, Empress. Yeah, it's time for you to leave something. It's time for someone here to leave a, a job that you're not getting paid right in. You're not allowed to, you know, you're, this job is not allowing you to grow, step into your higher self. It's not allowing you to save money. You know, you could be struggling, even though you work your tail off. Somebody could be gaslighting you again, telling you're gonna get a raise and you haven't got a raise yet. There could be a relationship that's keeping you from growing that it's time to step away from. Why? <laughs> because you're in this empress energy okay you're something you have been dealing with for a while it is time to let go of because it's not allowing you to grow whether it be a job a person a family situation someone you always trying to look out for it's time to let something go oh queen of swords it's time for you either your air sign or it's time for you to get into this energy where it's time for you to let some go it's time for you to cut something out Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Heavy on the Libra with the Taurus. With um, excuse me. Heavy on the Libra with the Empress, cause the Libra and Taurus represent the Empress card, which I feel like it should be all feminine, especially when you're in a high vibe. But hey, that is my opinion. Okay, but you can be a Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords, if you turn it this way, like the way I got my cards on my table, that'd be looking to the right, which is future face. This Queen of Swords is not looking at the past. So whoever you are, you are definitely focused on the past and you're being guided to cut something out, to maybe be cold, disconnect from something, take your emotions back, take your power back from something. Someone here needs to take their power back from a love situation, a marriage, a job where you're not being treated good. It's time for you to take your power back. Yeah, it's time for you to take your power back. Ten of Cups. When you take your power back, you will receive happiness, okay? There's also a card that came out with it, which is the Five of Cups. Some of y'all, you may be in regret for how it was. Not regret. You may feel sad about having to make this choice. Some of y'all, this could be a relationship that needs to end, okay? And you may be really sad or, or you know, confused or maybe in between minds about ending it. But this is your confirmation to... You know, to let some go because you're not happy there. You're not happy. You're not happy at all. The Queen of Swords is looking at this Ten of Cups. That means whatever you, whatever's going to bring you happiness in your life, whatever growth you're going to get, it's going to be in your future. So that means whatever you are in right now, whether it's a work, a family, some of y'all, you may need to leave your family behind. You may need to leave someone you built a family with. You may need to leave a marriage. You may need to leave a job. Something is not working because it's not allowing you to step into this energy. It's not allowing you to be yourself. It's not allowing you to grow. There is going to be a lot of sadness around making this choice, but I feel like it's going to be the best thing for you at this time. It is it's going to be the best thing for you. Ooh, yeah. And the universe wants you to do this shit quickly. <laughs> Universe wants you to do this quickly and move forward. You know what I'm saying? You may you may be a little sad, you know what I'm saying, about having to make this choice, but the universe wants you to take action. Okay? Take action. Go towards your future. What, what, you know, whatever this is, it, it, it don't belong with you. It don't need to go with you. It's not going to be able to go with you. And you may have a lot of regret around having to let something go or move away from something, but I feel like it's something that's keeping you stuck. It's something that's keeping you from growing. You're supposed to be an empress, whether you're a man or a woman. You're supposed to have uh, balance, peace. Things are supposed to be growing around you, prospering. In whatever situation this is, you're not growing. You're not prospering. Give me the last energy, divine universe please and thank you boom yes because it's attached to the devil this is yourself no okay there is some type of if it's a relationship it can be a codependent relationship you could be in a relationship with someone who has a lot of addictions attachments okay some of y'all they may have a lot of secrets okay this is some this is the universe pulling you away from some type of devil energy rather it be um fears devil can represent fears if you don't want, you know, maybe you're scared to leave a job because you think you ain't going to find something else. But no, you ain't going to find something else staying there. You know, if you step forward, if you take a, a leap of faith and step forward quickly, may I add, with this Knight of Swords, 
you will be able to disconnect. You will be able to leave this devil energy behind. This devil energy, again, could be a family. Your family you was born in. It could be a person you got a family with. It could be a marriage. It could be a situation ship here. It could be a third-party situation, okay? It could be a work. It could be anything. Whatever this is, it's not allowing you to grow because it's attached to your south node, okay? It is attached to... this. It's attached to something you don't resonate with anymore. A version of you you don't represent, don't represent, don't resonate with. I was trying to say, but represent came out. So you don't represent the devil. Someone you attach to or some people, or a place you work at, whatever this is, it's a lot of devil energy there. This is no longer viable for you to succeed and grow. This actually hindering your growth. So it's time for you to move on. Whatever's coming towards you, you know, you manifest it. The will of fortune is turning in your favor. So it's time for you to take action to unstick yourself, okay? This is a self-imposed prison. Again, you may feel, you may be in something where you're not happy anyway. Apathy, okay? Unhappy, uninterested in the person you're with, uninterested in the job, but you go to make a paycheck. Whatever this is, it's time for you to leave it behind, okay? Hermit, yes. Because you've became, you've grown. You've become more wiser. You know, you're not the same person you were. So it's time for you to leave whatever this is alone because look, turn your back to it. When you turn your back to something, there will be expansion in your life. But you have to trust. I'm just, you know, yes, trust. The strength talks, um, yeah, the strength card talks about trust, okay? Persevering, not giving up, having faith in yourself, okay? Believing in you when nobody else believes in you. This is a big decision you're going to have to make, but I, I promise you, I feel like you can do it. You got this. Let's, let me get my oracle cards and look at this future energy. I'm going to be using the Panther Oracle deck, all right? I'm going to take up too much of y'all time. It's a clear-cut message. Someone here is in a situation or a work opportunity. Whatever this is, you're not growing. And it no longer resonates with you. That's why you're not growing. That's why things are stuck around you because you're supposed to be stepping into this Empress energy. The Empress energy is a... It's new energy in itself. And it's it's not just new energy. It's prosperous energy. It's abundant energy. It's balanced energy. And you've worked hard for this. <laughs> so don't let something, some of y'all, if it's not a person, a place you need to leave behind, don't let yourself know. Don't, don't let your shadow keep you from taking the opportunity. Maybe you don't believe in yourself. The devil could be fear. Maybe you have fears of success, fears of failure. But how are you going to know anything if you don't take action and step out and try? Okay, you got to try. You got to try. You know, it's going to be to your benefit if you do so. So, all right. Right there. Let's cut. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we got persevere. Keep moving forward. I'm telling you. Give me this queen of pent in reverse. Damn. Re <laughs> okay came out in reverse. So, right now, you're not okay. You know, maybe someone here could be putting on a, a front for other people. Maybe things look okay on the outside to other people, but you're not okay with something or someone or situation. You're not okay. Give me this Knight of Cups in reverse. Ooh. Illness, okay? You know, you could be experiencing some type of mental illness or someone here could be sick or in the near future, you could be, you know, you could be really sick to the point where it may hinder you from working or, or moving around or someone here needs to just take better care of yourself. Um... Maybe you should start taking like vitamins, drinking more water, getting outside more. You know, maybe you're a person with that hermit car. Maybe you like to stay in a lot. It's time for you to rejoin the world, okay? Again, someone here, you know, this could be mental health. <clears throat> Give me this Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands is savings. Look, you're going to be able to have money. You're going to be able to save money. You're going to be able to have money. You're going to have access to new type of wealth. So, you know, take this opportunity coming in. Leave whatever this is behind. Don't miss out on this. The will of fortune is libation. Okay? It's a donation, pray, and release. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Spiritual best. Excuse me. Some of y'all, you may need to pray. Okay? And I feel like whatever you're going towards, whatever success you're about to have in your life, don't forget to give back. Always remain humble. Okay, try to always move with humility. Think about other people. Don't let nothing change you. Stay humble. Stay humble. Give me this Empress. And I'm going to get you an angel card or whatever angel card this is. Calm. See, this is the energy you're supposed to be sitting in. You're supposed to be calm and at peace right now, but someone here is not. You're experiencing some type of unrest. It could be causing some type of illness in your body. Because stress, stress trickles down and it turns into problems. Stress could be the, the driving force behind cancer. Because your cells are, it's all energy and frequency. Your cells, your cells are muddled. They are not being able to, you know, reproduce or heal. 
which could be causing some type of sickness in your body. This could be coming from a lot of stress, from things not growing, things not coming in around you. Your stress could be really causing a problem for you. So someone here needs to get a hold on that. Give me this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, we have Live and Learn. You smart. The Queen of Swords is a smart woman, okay? She's a smart queen. So you've learned something. So it's time for you to live. There is something associated with what you need to, what you need to leave behind or what you're leaving behind. You've learned everything you need to learn from this situation, person, place, or thing. Now it's time to leave it. It's time to cut it off. It's time to move forward. Look at your fruit. Give me this Ten of Cups. Again, whatever angel I pull for you is going to be an angel that walks with you. So anytime you have any type of problem, I want you to call on this angel. Okay, and I want you to remember and come out to this video what who this angel is. You got self-love falling out on the Ten of Cups. Self-concern, self-healing, independence. It's time for you to become independent. Some of y'all, you may need to get away from a toxic family unit. Your family, maybe you're always there for your mother, father, sister, brother, something. Somebody could be taking advantage of you. This could represent anything you need to leave behind. But some of y'all, you need to put yourself first. That's all. You need to just put yourself first. Okay? The universe wants you to start putting yourself, prioritizing you over anyone else. That's what someone needs to do here. Things around you could not be growing because you're trying to prioritize someone who, you know, for some of y'all, people placing things that may have addictions, habits, things, secrets that you don't know about. God wanted you to cut these people placing things out. Five of Cups, bully. Someone may not let you walk away or they may not want you to walk away. Okay? So they may try to bully you. They may slander you. They may gossip about you. This could be family members this could be a lover an ex-lover a current lover whatever it is you leaving behind you will probably catch some backlash from it because you may have people who slandering you or they already doing this okay somebody's already trying to bully you or somebody's going to try to bully you to keep you from moving on with your life when in reality you see you see the knight of cups there's no love somewhere First of all, in the upright, it probably was never really genuine in the first place. And there is something that's keeping you from growing with the Queen of Pence in reverse. You're not moving. You're not growing. So it's time to release someone, something, person, place, a thing, okay? The Knight of Swords. Soon as you do, soon as you take action, you're going to get back into balance. Sweet dreams. If you have a nightmares, if you have a sleepless nights, if you've been restless, all that is going to change. Once you take this action to cut something out of your life, okay? Something out of your life. Something, I saw Marionette at the bottom of the deck. So it could be something that's controlling you unbeknownst to you. What's the devil is? The devil is fury. The devil going to be mad. Some of y'all, if this is just an energy, if this is just a thought process, this is just fears you need to heal, once you trust in God more and block out this devil energy, the devil energy is going to be furious. Whether it's a person, place, thing, or energy, someone's going to be fucking mad here because they cannot control you or hold you back anymore. So fuck them. Take your leap of, yeah, take care of yourself, baby, sir, take care of yourself. Forget, forget whoever this is, daydream, you know, you, you got, you got bigger goals, okay, it's time to death this, RIP, it's time to end something, it really is, it's time to let something go, something that's a lot of conflict anyway for you, this could be someone you're always fighting with, okay, someone who won't compromise, someone who keeps other options, whatever this case may be, okay, and if this family members, you can be around family members that are toxic, they gossip about you. They slander you behind your back, okay? But all that's going to change because once you take action to love on yourself, prioritize you, put you first, all that is going to turn around. This queen of pencils is going to turn into upright, okay? She's not going to be in the reverse anymore because things are going to grow around you. They're not going to be stagnant. Some of y'all, somebody wanted you to be homeless, okay? Yeah, and go, they was that somebody goal was to keep you stagnant, stuck, and homeless. If this is a relationship, this purpose on this person purposely I always say doing something on purpose with a purpose. This person purposely was trying to stop you from growing. They was purposefully like fucking with your energy, trying to keep you stuck. If this is your family, they man, look, they did a lot. Their whole goal in life is to keep you stuck. Someone here wanted you to lose your home. And because of this, for some of y'all, I got news for you. Whoever wants this for you, they going to be experiencing this because you're going towards the will of fortune. Give me an angel. It came right on out. Number 10, Ariel. Okay. This talks about love, I believe. Okay. And I think this is an archangel. But Peach brown earth tones giving me earth sign green all those color stones uh a good stone carnelian strawberry quartz rose quartz red jasper tanzanite topaz did i say tiger's eye green emerald 
green aventurine, malachite, green I got. There's so many stones I can get this hollering off y'all, but them stones may be very significant for you moving forward on your healing journey and to help you. Okay, especially malachite. Malachite, that's a, a stone for depression and to balance out one's energy. Somebody's birthday could be on the 10th. Somebody's birthday could be on the 1st. Okay, somebody could be a Capricorn, an Aqua here. Somebody could be a Libra. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be a Capricorn. All right, let's read this for y'all. Okay. Number 10. No, it's a strength of my heart. Okay, some of y'all, you need to be strong. That's that strength card, persevere. It say, Aria is the head of the nature angels. Get outside. That's why all these earth tones on this card, because it's a nature angel. I was wondering why, because I see, I'm an intuitive reader, so I read off colors. I get messages through music. I get messages walking outside here. I'm in the shower. I get messages. I get messages. I'm looking at pictures. It's like, it needs to be coming in, and, and, and that's how it's always been with me. I didn't know nothing about spirituality and like that years ago, none of this stuff, but I definitely am more familiar, more comfortable with it now. But I saw these earth tones in this card so this is a nature angel it says so she is connected to the fairies and elementals i'm gonna tell y'all a story about fairies when i get through hold on she watches over all the plants and animals and helps encourage us to care for our environment our environment also is your vessel okay your environment is also your vessel your physical body okay also known as the lioness of god see this is giving me leo aries energy for some reason ariel can show up excuse me that's right. I said it right. Ariel can shore up your courage and inner strength. She is especially good at helping you to stand up for your beliefs and values. What the hell I say? What did I say? And to look out for the underdog, which is certainly needed during the time of great awakening. So you're going through a great awakening, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. And again, remain and always work from a place of humility. Okay? Never get... Um, over cocky, you know, just try to remain humble. You know, when people get beside they said that's when God knock you back down, okay? We get knocked down a lot of times in our life, but one thing, when you that's no when you down to nothing, God is up to something. Always remember that. It say Ariel can help you to neutralize fears. Didn't I say somebody here may have fears they need to get over? Your fears could be blocking your money, your forward movement, everything. This may not even be a person place. It could be you, okay? So I did tell you that. It say neutralize fears and she shores up your inner resolve, giving you the personal strength when you need it most. She can shield you from vexatious people, toxic ass people. OK, that's what vexatious mean. People's irritating <laughs> and won't just stop. They keep it going and going and going. OK, well, anyway, <laughs> shoot. Well, I was at people and situations and will gently but firmly help you say no to more to move away from experiences that may be disempowering you or even potentially involve bullying or aggression lord then i say that thank you universe for confirming everything this right here card sums up the whole reading the whole message i gave to you because it's the truth like some of y'all could be around family members of people that is literally bullying you, slandering you, could be trying to stop your forward progress. Some people may want you sick. Some people may want you homeless, which I feel like is downright evil and diabolical personally. But that's just what I'm seeing. That's what's coming out. Like people don't want you to move or they don't want you to change. People want you to stay in this night of cups, not loving, not caring with your heart guarded. Queen of Pentacles, nothing around you growing, blocking your money. People could be throwing, I don't like to use spell work or talk about that shit, but somebody could be throwing spell work at you some of y'all this could be family members some of you may have a, a lover you're connected to matter of fact some of y'all ex-lover that could be doing things when the aspects come to you and the aspect of your relationships with other people friendships romantic relationships this man or this woman could be throwing everything at you except for the kitchen sink yeah they might have tried to throw that too but couldn't catch you i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying it's a like the dignified forest nymph she is represented by and by on her oracle card, she can infuse you with stamina, heroism, noble defiance in the face of life challenges. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Now, before I read the message, I'm going to tell you about fairies. I definitely know that fairies work with me because I was sitting in my house a couple of months ago, and I'm just chilling in my bedroom, watching the TV and stuff, and I'm watching... 
And I got one of smart TV, so I got that Tubi app on my TV and stuff. So I'm watching a movie on there, and you know, and I'm just chilling and stuff, whatever the case may be. And I'm telling you, at the left, my left eye, I literally saw a fairy fly. She was, it was a female, female, excuse me, feminine energy. She was light white, little wings. She literally zipped in my, uh, zipped in my view. I swear for Jesus, I'm lying, I'm dying. She came in my left eye. She waved real quick, and then she soup, she zipped out. It looked like a little orb, but it was a little fairy. And when I told somebody, they were like, you crazy as shit. I don't believe you, but it's a true story. I promise you it's a true story. So I know fairies are real. They are real. Yes, they are. I promise to God, they. I would never sit on here and lie. Fairies are real. You may even work with them. You probably, but see, I'm going to tell you something too. The eyes can only comp the eyes can only see what the brain is ready to comprehend. So if you don't believe in stuff like this, just like magic is, you know, they are saying this, if you don't believe in magic, it can't work on you. You have to welcome that energy in by believing in it or uh, somewhere in that some shape, uh, way or form, whatever the case may be. Right. But I definitely know for sure if fairies are real, your message is have courage and faith in yourself and your beliefs. I will help you stand up for yourself and defend anyone who needs your strength and heart. Look, people need it. You're needed. You are being called to pull yourself out of this rut because you're needed at this time. Other people need your strength, your conviction, your your love, your heart, and you may not even realize that, but this is something that you could be coming into over the next couple of weeks, months, years even, if you haven't already done so. I appreciate you checking out my content again. Like the video. Find peace within. Laters.